Nah, 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 nah. This is so bad. <laughs> No way! Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back. So we are all cozy on the couch today for another one of our sex confessions videos and I'm so excited. I love this series so much. All of these are completely anonymous and I'm actually going to leave a little link down below in the description box if you want to submit any secrets or confessions for the next one of these. We have a bunch of them to get through today so let's just dive right on in. All right so the first one is got called bro by an American exchange student while he was eating my pussy. <laughs> How does that even go? Like, are you enjoying this, bro? Does that feel good, bro? <laughs> I genuinely think my pussy would shrivel up inside of me. <laughs> I know it's not very hygienic, so I kind of cringe in hindsight, but I had sex with my boyfriend in the thermal swimming pool section of a spa last week. There is just something so sensual about the hot water, the relaxation, and of course being half naked. It was nighttime and dark outside, so no one saw. I freaking love this. <laughs> this is like a scene out of a movie or something and like you say it's not very hygienic and I know where you're coming from with that but don't all swimming pools have like a bunch of chlorine in it and chlorine is like a disinfectant and it kind of takes all the shit out of the water because if you think about it like when you go into a public swimming pool otherwise you'd be coming out with all sorts of diseases like even if you're not having sex like you know yourself as a woman a little bit of water always gets up there whether you're in a bath or you're in a swimming pool like there's always a little something that gets up there but I absolutely love this. There's something about having sex in places that you shouldn't have sex in and there's something about the potential of being caught that just makes it so much more exciting. So I was on top and he started to have an asthma attack and was all wheezy. I got off to try and get his inhaler but he was having none of it and made me get on him again. Did some hella acrobatic moves to try and reach his inhaler on the ground while still having sex. no 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 get back up here fuck the inhaler the thing sex can do to you i swear to god <laughs> that's amazing i know this is a light-hearted series that we do on my channel but anytime i put up questions for sex confessions i always get some questions about sex as well and this time around i got a lot of questions about oral i'm afraid to be bad at giving a girl head i'm a girl and another one was best way to give a great blowjob there was a load of oral sex questions and lads i genuinely cannot recommend beducated enough beducated is an online course platform and it's basically like the netflix of sexual wellness it's absolutely insane but they have an amazing course on oral sex they have one on blowjobs and one on cunning lingus so in the oral sex courses they give you a bunch of different techniques on how to give head and they also talk about building your confidence because that's something that a lot of people are lacking when it comes to oral sex is they have very little confidence and they get really nervous about going to do it and then they also have a video demonstration on each technique showing you exactly how to do it and i just cannot rave about beducated enough like the amount that i have personally learned since since having it the last couple of years has been absolutely insane and I just feel like when it comes to the likes of oral sex it can be really hard for people to learn about this stuff because the only representation there is of it out there is the likes of porn and porn is not a realistic example of how oral sex goes everything with porn is so dramatized and it's for like entertainment like you know that's not what is happening behind closed doors of two people being intimate you know what I mean oral well, sex is obviously really different to penetrative sex because I feel like penetrative sex is something that's spoken about a lot more you know in this day and age whereas oral sex not so much. Being able to see the techniques demonstrated and learning how to build your confidence when it comes to these things in the comfort of your own home in your own room with your own privacy is just so insane and you can currently get one day free on Beducated and then if you want to get the yearly pass you can do so with my code Jessie which will get you 40% off the yearly pass and that discount is not just for the year that discount will be locked in for life they have over 100 courses on beducated and they're all done by sex experts so these guys know their stuff they're coming from an educated place and no matter what place you're coming from whether you're single whether you're in a relationship no matter what gender you are they have courses for absolutely everybody the information over there is just so valuable but i will leave a link down below my darlings one day free and 40 percent off the early pass with my code jesse slept with my boyfriend's dad when i was on a sugar baby website i can't tell if this person is being serious or not it's the xo for me that's just thrown me feeling like someone's taking the piss 
But I feel like this stuff has definitely happened. And if it is true, well, when you're calling your boyfriend daddy, little does he know. <laughs> me and my boyfriend were having sex and I was on top and he grabbed onto my waist and it tickled me and I just pissed all over him. And to this day, two years later, he still believes it was cum. <laughs> Something like this has happened to me before as well. <laughs> I was like, look, I'm gonna take this one to my grave and you can go to your grave thinking you're great. <laughs> Got into the habit of faking it with my boyfriend. Thinks he's great in bed by my noises. <laughs> the eye roll emojis. <laughs> why do we do this to ourselves? Like, why do we do this to ourselves? Like literally every girl that I know has done this at some point of their life. I've also done this before and I don't know why we think it's a good idea. Like, I, I know we're doing it because we're not getting there and it's kind of like an easy way for the act to be finished. Like, cause you can get very frustrated if somebody's trying to make you come and it's just not happening or they're not doing it right or they're not listening to you. Like, you can get really frustrated and it's like, look, let's just leave it now, I came. I know that's normally where it comes from. But we're the ones getting burnt. We're the ones leaving with no orgasm and we're the ones who are never gonna get an orgasm if we've told them that we've come because then they're going to keep doing the same thing 2023 is the year us women are taking back our power and we're stopping the shit stop blowing up these boys heads for no goddamn reason and we're leaving unsatisfied we're going up to the bedroom getting the fucking vibrator out we're saying we need a shower right after sex because we need to get the vibrator out nah 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 if you don't want to be upfront with him and tell him the truth i would turn around and say look this just isn't doing it for me anymore for some reason let's try this <laughs> let's try the way that i can actually come or even just a new way um and maybe that would be a way for you to get out of it and stop the noises like if something's not feeling good don't be dramatizing it don't be overdoing it thinking that you know it's making him all excited let's just focus on my family is religious so sex outside of marriage is seen as wrong i'm also christian but have broken the sex rule but early on in my relationship with my boyfriend after having sex i'd felt nauseous and really anxious even hid in the bathroom and threw up at his place a couple times this absolutely breaks my heart because i know so many people go through this and it's so sad like that you absorb so much shame from like you know other people's beliefs like your family for example and that you know you're not let kind of make your own choices and decisions and have your own beliefs you know that so often things are bet into us from people who raise us and it's just so sad but i'm so happy that you chose to do what felt right for you and what you wanted to do and i really hope that it doesn't have that effect on you anymore <laughs> No way! My boyfriend accidentally put it into my asshole during Cowgirl and I was really surprised how easily it just went in. <laughs> Girl, what kind of booze are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh, fucking hell. Maybe you were just so turned on and that's why it went in so easily because there's no way. Like, were you all lubed up? Like, I can't imagine, like, he, you know, he got a load of lube out, got it on your bum, put it on himself before slipping it in. Like, fair play. That's impressive. <laughs> I could never. I made sex-based New Year's resolutions and I'm working through them. Haven't told my boyfriend because some of them involve him initiating certain things, but it's fun to have a list of things I want to work through. Love your content. Thank you so much. I love this so much sex-based new year's resolutions and the fact that you haven't told your boyfriend is just <laughs> amazing <laughs> it's like so we've got some sex new year's resolutions you're unaware of them but i'm slowly taking them off as the days go by <laughs> i'd love to know what the resolutions are that involve him please send me a dm on instagram i'm so intrigued me and my boyfriend met at work and ended up sneaking around at work and having sex multiple times in his office luckily we never got caught oh my god the amount of sex that does be going on in offices i swear to god i have heard some insane stories like I've heard that offices are like dating sites or as good as like it does be mental in them offices. I don't know what it is. You know when you're working in an office like you're normally wearing like a suit or you're dressed smart. You've got smart trousers on and a shirt and it's kind of that kind of environment where it's like sex is off limits. Sex is prohibited. So it seems to make people want to have sex even more. 
But I suppose it's just like the swimming pool one, isn't it? We want to do things where we can't do them. I hooked up with a guy in a college classroom. We found an empty room and had sex. Left some tables and chairs unarranged. It was a pretty good experience, but tables are really hard on the back. <laughs> I recently found out my best mate slept with my ex. Thing is, she slept with him after leaving a 10 year relationship. I met my ex because he was the best mate of her boyfriend. So not only did she sleep with my ex, but also her ex's best mate. I understand her wanting to shag him as a rebound, but still, oh, that is bold. That is really fucking naughty. Like, I understand if she was like, you know, going sleeping with her. I don't know who's worse here, actually. Is it the best mate or is it her? Because... His best mate has slept with her as well. And I feel like he's the one in the wrong. If my best friend went off and slept with my ex, that'd be bad. Like, I, I'd be upset with her. I wouldn't be upset with my ex-boyfriend because what loyalties do you have to me now? We've broken you up. You know, I'd expect my best friend to have my back. And, oh my God, that's so much to unpack there. <sighs> like, a rebound, come on. There's, what, 8 million people in the world? 7 million people? Do you think you can find a rebound that's not your best friend's ex? And your ex's best mate. Like, oh my god. People really do get themselves into all sorts of situations, don't they? All I'll say is, I hope it was worth it. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it was. My friend's parents were away for the weekend. So she invited myself and my boyfriend over to have dinner with her and her boyfriend. Dinner turned into double vodkas and cards against humanity. My boyfriend and I were smashed and decided to sneak upstairs to get it on. We were both really going at it, but it was like revving a car in neutral. <laughs> Fast forward to 7am when I got a call from my dad asking why I wasn't home yet. Safe to say I've never forgotten that night. <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought this was going to turn into a foursome. Like when you said it was me and my boyfriend and my friend and her boyfriend and then the double vodkas came. I was like, right, that was it the double vodkas. I went to a fetish club with some friends and my then boyfriend. We ended up escaping the friends and went dancing to a different room. We danced for a bit and my boyfriend left to go to the toilet. I make some eye contact with a guy on the dance floor and when my boyfriend returns he starts dancing behind me and the guy comes to dance with us. Things start getting steamier and my boyfriend and the guy starts getting very handsy on me. Guy ended up fingering me on the dance floor. Then we went to a more quiet area and I fuck my boy friend while the guy keeps touching me and playing with my boobs oh my god <laughs> no way i have no words i'm speechless it's not often i'm left speechless all i'll say is whoever was on security camera duty that night oh they got an eyeball. They got their own little private porno. I'd love to know, did you guys end up doing more stuff like this after this? Because it sounds like this was the first time you kind of brought a third person into your relationship. Oh no, maybe not because you were at a fetish club. Maybe that's something you do. Oh my god. With my boyfriend, we once had sex on my bare floor of my student accommodation. We were so horny after holidays. We couldn't even wait to put the sheets on the bed. <laughs> I love how instead of going on the bed with no sheets, you chose the floor. <laughs> I love it. You're like, no, that bed ain't clean. I'm not sleeping on a bare mattress or I'm not having sex on a bare mattress. But that floor, however, hello. I was with my boyfriend in his lecture and we wanted to be intimate. So he dared me to lick his dick in exchange of leaving class. Someone saw me, so it became a joke between us. I did it and we left. We found a classroom in the building and he fucked me on the professor's desk. <laughs> I can't believe someone saw you lick his dick in class. I like to think that like, you know, I've got some balls. But when I read these, I'm like, damn. <laughs> Never mind. This is probably the darkest confession we've had. I gave my ex-boyfriend a blowjob at an abandoned graveyard. It was in high school. He was a really emo metalhead and generally a bit of an exhibitionist and also very manipulative and toxic and i was just so blinded and in love that i did that honest to god though the things that you can do when you are in a very manipulative toxic relationship is insane and in love the things you will do when you're in love don't talk to me about it 
oh my god like but that's scary like an abandoned graveyard i think what creeps me out so much about this is that he was actually able to get hired at an abandoned graveyard like that's all kinds of fucked up like that's not right like never mind the swimming pool or never mind i don't know whatever kind of confessions we've had but an abandoned graveyard he has to be somebody who doesn't believe in spirits because there is no way you would ever catch me having sex in a graveyard nah 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 this is so bad I was once with a girl who took me to her very strict church. After the mass, she made me have sex with her in her church dress and come on her cross. I can't, I can't, I can't do anymore. Well, well, well. And on that note, I think we're going to wrap up today's video. But as I said, make sure you send in your secrets or confessions. I'm going to have a link down below and they are completely anonymous. And we will do another one of these very soon. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And don't forget that there is a link down below where you can get one day free and 40% off the yearly pass using my code Jessie. I'm so in love with this series we do on my channel. They're genuinely one of my favorite videos to film. I do feel like I'm sat with you guys at like a sleepover and we're just having a giggle like exchanging stories and it's just so much fun i'll also leave all the other videos in this series below in case you've missed some of them and you want to go and have a little catch up have a little giggle but thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so very much and i cannot wait to see you all in my next video